Hola! We're finishing up here at Zion. It's about 6.37 a.m. 7 o'clock a.m. We're gonna take a nine hour drive to Vail where we're gonna stay there for five nights. This is our room in the Hampton Inn and Suites in Springdale, Zion. Carly really likes it with this big old business table. Where we just got some continental breakfast. And we're gonna, Grab and go. Carly's finally gonna drive a little bit. It's been a couple of days since she drove. You won't so, let me. So we're here a second time driving. And then uh, get, we'll get our ski on. Yeah. Okay. Off we go. Bye. Okay, just got to the Highline Vale Doubletree um, by Hilton, and they were able to upgrade us to a balcony, which is pretty sick. This is our room, coming through the front door. So far, not so bad. Definitely doable. Let me close this door. Here's our closet. Not much closet space, unfortunately, but it'll, it'll do. Here's our bathroom. Hello. Let me walk, let me zoom out real quick so people can see a little bit better. Okay. Let me go look at that closet again. Iron board, iron. All right. Just moving around. This is a just a little bar area with a. Uh, Refrigerator there and a safe in here. It's a little shelving. No microwave. Looks like we got a little tiny sofa here. No microwave. Uh, no, king size bed. Beggars can't be choosers. Keurig. Nice. That's nice. Yeah, that's a nice touch. And here's our balcony. Looks like we got a corner room with mountain views. Definitely really nice. And this uh, balcony looks like it wraps around here. Holy yeah, wraps around all the way. Huge balcony, holy smokes. Uh, maybe we could come out here and see, maybe hopefully we could see some stars tonight. We have our wedding here in this. <laughs> maybe we could have a, have a stargazing party tonight, babies. Let's get some vino. Huh? Let's get some vino tonight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and some pizza. Apparently they're known for their brick oven pizza here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so today's kind of chill. It's like what four o'clock? Yeah. Uh, today's just a chill day, and uh, maybe find some spikes for our shoes. You're hungry already? Yeah. Damn. What do you mean already? I don't know. I'm not that hungry. We had breakfast at seven in the morning. Yeah, but we were noshing on all those Kit Kats. The two Kit Kats. I had a lot of Kit Kats. <laughs> um, tomorrow we're gonna take a tour of the mountain, and then. Saturday, we are 
gonna spend the day snowboarding. I snowboard, she skis. Um, we need to stop by the charter sports thing downstairs real quick so I can change our reservation. Uh, I, I have us both getting helmets and boots. I don't need my helmet. Why? Because I brought my helmet. So, but you are gonna wear a helmet. I want you to protect that small head of yours. <laughs> and here is the lobby of the hotel slash resort. Some pretty high ceilings. It's a good view of the mountain. Here's the bar where they have the pizza and drinks. We just order ourselves an old fashioned like always. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. What's up everybody? We are about to head out to a snowmobile tour of Vail, the mountains. We're all decked out in our gear. Hoping this will keep us warm. And we are late, come on. It's already 7.55, we have to be down there by eight. It takes forever to get ready. I can't do this anymore. All right, we gotta go, we gotta hurry up, bye. From 1942 to 1945, there were 15,000 men and women that lived and trained right here in this valley, or World War II. They picked this area because this is very similar to, to the Italian Alps, where they were going to be at. A high altitude, cold weather, lots of snow. Um, this is the perfect training ground for that. You guys all just saw those bunkers that we drove by, that bunker that we drove by. Yeah? That's the ammo bunkers, that's where they stored the ammunition. Uh, there's a couple of bunkers here that we... We've kind of been through, and we're in between two of them right now. They're 100, 100 yards long. They all kind of have things on them um, that where people would they mount dummies. And guys would run across the field, stab, lay down on the thing, and shoot to the next one. I thought oh, this is where they practice their marksmanship. They practice field. What we're gonna do it is we're gonna use it as a practice field as well. Okay, we're gonna make it into a lap track. Uh,
First one's free. <laughs> Next one's on you. from their group did
Baby, you okay?